It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Chicago Bears and the Arizona Cardinals. And it comes your way next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Uh, before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnover, special teams play, but here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Cardinals making their way out, and it's the number one overall pick in 2019, Kyler Murray at the helm. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. They start with a give to Connor. Gotta like that start. 14 yards to get him going. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Control the line of scrimmage created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. Murray. He'll get this one complete to Zane Jones. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. Running right on the option is Murray. Just Murray has it knocked loose. Fumble. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So into bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 43. Here's Murray. That's complete to Michael Wilson. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Murray going to throw. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Some mistakes already in the first quarter. If he holds on to that one, first down. Yeah, I guarantee it. At least one defensive back out there 
has reminded him of that fact, trying to get into his head and hoping that'll affect him the rest of the game. Murray and company going for it on fourth. That's to his running back complete. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Williams. That pass complete to Moore. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 23 yards on the play. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Now second and three. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Throwing on first down, Williams. He's got the connection to Moore. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Now Williams throwing on first down. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Back to throw. Williams. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Bears get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Nothing like understanding where your escape hatches are as a quarterback. Here he's looking, but he knows he doesn't want to force anything. So when nothing avails itself, he slips past the rushers, takes it right up the middle, and takes it into the end zone. Santos with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taking it about the one. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And oh, it caught out. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Only four yards on that gain, but, you know, a lot of people would say that's like getting nine in normal circumstances since this was first and five. Yeah, now your playbook's wide open here, second and very short. Yeah, I still don't think that you can count it in the stats that way at contract time. No, huh? no, it still goes down as four, not okay. nine. <laughs> Connor going to get it again on second down. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. First down, Murray. Taken down, a bear sack. Jervon Dexter, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now Murray throwing on second down. A uh, short sure one here, caught by McBride. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Play fake, Murray. And he is caught. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. Touchdown, Cardinals! A big play there, 50 yards. And the Cardinals are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post -ball? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. How uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So all even at seven now as they kick it away.
And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Williams now on first down. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. These two teams all tied after one. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. They'll run right here with Swift. And some space here. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Great gains back-to-back. -back. Last time over 30 yards, better than 20 here. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice gain there. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. On second down, Swift. Five yards, now it's third and five. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Third and five. Looking to throw. Williams. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Santos' kick is up and through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. to seven. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. 
absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. They'll come up facing third and five. Here's Murray. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Dante Pettis deep for Chicago. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught yeah. every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now this time he'll look to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Here comes the Bears punter now. Back deep is DJ Dallas. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The football going back over to Arizona now. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw here is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Murray now to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. The Chicago offense set to get started. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. 
They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 43. They'll start on the ground with Swift and give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Second and five. Here's a toss play right to Swift. Seven yards there and a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first and ten, it's Swift. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He finds his target, Allen. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 31-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Give him another one right back to Allen. Touchdown, Chicago! Keenan Allen, 31 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Now the point after try for Santos. It's good to make it 17-7. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Murray now on first down. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Kyler Gordon picks it off, and they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape.
So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Williams. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bears. Keenan Allen with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. On second down, here's Murray. Catch made right side by Wilson. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. first and ten here and you know if they could just get three out of this there's something about narrowing it to a two score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle Jones hit and the ball's out but it looks like one of the DBs has it and his crew will take over at their own 45 yard line a lot of talk this week about ball security in fact they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball it didn't work out there well sometimes you just get overexcited during the game you mates all of a sudden make your catch see some open field and decide you're going for it and not realizing the danger lurks while you're doing so and there's your end result right there And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Tyreek Stevenson picks it off. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. 
Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner, and with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first-round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You call that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing to start the drive, Williams. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down to throw again Williams over the middle and into the hands of his receiver Moore they get six that'll leave them with third and four and with just four seconds left in this first half a timeout call So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we reach halftime with the visiting Bears out on top here. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Set to resume, here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. Valus Jones now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. And the Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. So that time, they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, 
you might have that 330 pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there you might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out they're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty on the option to give to Swift here and not much here as he'll get it to the 11 maybe the 12 yard line only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Here's Williams to throw on second down. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Mac Wilson coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. Williams able to find the open man. That's complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Another big play right there, and this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. Back to throw. Williams. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Quick slant, caught by Moore. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. He'll fire deep, looking for more. And this is caught inside the five. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Herbert will take it in. Touchdown, Bears. And maybe that's the magic touch right there. They didn't use him at all in the first half, at least running the football. But here they entrust him with some work down in the red zone, and he responds. One carry, one touchdown. Santos now to add the PAT. And that stretches the lead to 27. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. 
And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history, and that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. A short one here caught by McBride. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be third down. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Here is third down and four. To throw, it's Murray. He completes it to Wilson. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. I know I'm an old defender, but I've got to give credit where credit's due. That was smart play call right there on third and four. They didn't need to do too much. Just let their guy get out there and sit down in the zone. And they hit him for the completion for the first down. On first and ten is Connor. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. From the 44-yard line, here's second and five. Murray going to throw. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 45-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. Well, still in the third quarter here. Now, you look at the scoreboard, that deficit probably a little too much to overcome. But completions like that may be something to build on for future weeks. Yeah, it's all about ending things on a strong note here, isn't it? Because my mindset is it's a new ball game from here to the end. Make sure it's a good one and close it out. 45 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. Murray now on first down. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Phoenix, Arizona is the spot. Glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action and a second and ten upcoming. And a throw right sideline is complete. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great effort there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cardinals are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. So a very important first drive of the third quarter, Charles, and safe to say, a much-needed touchdown. Which leads to the question, where was this in the first half? Because if they'd had a few more drives like that, they wouldn't be in this situation. But that is the kind of drive that sends a message to the other side. We're going to be here, and we're going to battle you to the end. Extra point good by Prater, and the lead now down to 20. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Taken at the goal line. 
And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. D.J. Moore headed back out as the Bears take over on possession. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Williams throwing to start the drive. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Now an option play on second down. It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. Now, I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get, so he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Looking to throw, Williams. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Don't do us like that. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 just shy of the 30. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. From the 35, back to work on second and four. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. Down the sideline it goes, and all the way down to the 25-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble, it gets him a first down. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. On first and ten, here's Murray. Open that, here's Benson. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On second down. It's Benson, and they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for, a really good change of pace back. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Murray. The quick slant caught. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Yeah. 
Second and one from the two. They run behind center with Connor. And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one yard line. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. And now down three scores. I don't think there's any decision at all. You've got to go for it because you don't know how many more times you're going to get an opportunity. Field goals, they're not going to cut it in this situation. Now Murray's got to have this one. Steps away. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Cards have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit and they've got a puncher's chance. Prater for the extra point, and that cuts this lead down to 13. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Jones now on the return. Now Jones. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now, they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he'll be taken down right there at the 38. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. That pass complete to Moore. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Now Williams, off play action. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10, down at the 33. They'll look to throw again. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. 
And that'll bring up second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Back to throw again. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. The Bears on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and seven. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, he shifts past him. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So all things considered, that's not the final nail, but it does make things exceedingly difficult now on the other side. Yeah, because obviously now with a 16-point game, the other guys don't need just two touchdowns. They need a couple of two-point conversions as well. Plus, they'll need either a turnover or an onside kick in there somewhere. So you're just adding to the list of things that need to happen in sequence, and it's going to be a pretty tall order this late in the game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded right at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down by 16, just over two minutes to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. To throw is Murray. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and four. Operating from the gun, Williams. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. 
The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. We'll see if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Second and 11. They'll fake it there on the jet sweep, and instead, here's Swift. And he is going to have the Bears first, and that should be the capper. It's a gain of 14 there, and that should be enough to get him home free. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been to bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win.